and most important is this tray down here. This is called the stereotype tray. It would be filled with like, like plaster of Paris, soft plaster of Paris. Another type set rotates down and presses the type into the plaster, making an impression of the answer. The tray automatically then indexes in, waiting for the next answer and the next answer. So when this tray is all filled with numbers, what have we got? We've got a mold for a printing plate. The printer only has to pour lead into that. He's got a perfect plate, no mistakes. And all the stuff on the side here lets you, is variable formatting for this tray. You can pick how many columns you want to print, how many digits in each column, how far apart should they be spaced. Right? 130 years before Microsoft Word. <laughs> so, that's what this is. So, oh, the museum says, well, now we're out of money, and there's, there's 4,000 unique parts just in the printer stereotype. What are we going to do? Well, at that point, they get a very auspicious visit from a guy named Bill Gates. And Bill Gates says, well, you know, I have a, a, an ex-chief technical officer named Nathan Mirvold. He's a serial entrepreneur and he's a collector of these kind of gadgets, I'm going to tell him that you guys are doing this. And Nathan gets in touch with Doran, and he says, okay, I'm very interested in this. I'll give you the money to finish that first unit. And if everything really works, if that thing really works, I want you to build a second one for my own personal collection. Okay? He's a big collector. And so, in 2008, Serial number two behind me was complete, flew it across the ocean in a 747, and here it is, so you can enjoy it. So that's how this one. Now, Nathan Miravold keeps telling us we can keep it another year, another year, another year, but he swears that someday, maybe when he retires, he's going to take this thing up to Seattle and stick it in his living room, <laughs> next to the T-Rex skeleton he has in there. <laughs> so, the man has a big living room. And this weighs five tons, by the way, almost. So. All right, so that's how the machine, and does it work? You just saw, indeed it does work. Um, and uh, what we're gonna do now, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna crank it some more. And you can now watch this whole process happen. Watch the addition taking place as these, these gear stacks that are between the number wheels add one column to the next. Now, because he wanted economy of movement and fewer parts, he actually did what's in the computer business called pipelining this machine, where the odd columns are added to the even columns in one part of the cycle, and the evens to the odds in another part of the cycle. Uh, but that same effect, you really add it across the machine the same way. You will also, if you listen, hear this clack, this snapping sound. That was another Babbage innovation here. He wanted to make darn sure that these number wheels, when they were free to move, didn't slip a little past the number one way or the other. Right? Otherwise, the gears would not be perfectly aligned. So there were these huge blades. You can see the bottoms of them here. They go right up the number stack, and they snap in to realign all the number wheels and keep them from moving when other things are happening in the machine. So that's that snap. So let's all watch this process happen now as we crank. We'll do five more calculations. That's because I only have the answers every five calculations. And the audio ads, the restores. If it's not ads, then it's not stereotype. Print, stereotype. Thought of that. 
there's a weight dropping down as the train moves in, it's going to start pulling on this cable right here. See this cable? Comes over to here, pulls on a pole, and disconnects the crank. So the machine stops. That tells Ray he's got to come in and put a new tray in. Okay? All right, look, one, before we go around the back, we might as well check another result. I guess we're at 2.30 now. 2.30, right. Got that one? 2.30. 2.30, here we go. 272-687-914-251-288-261. Yes. Yes! Right again.